27 years ago, Teresa Lohr's body was found in a muddy riverbank. The Champlain College student was only 19. For two decades, police treated her death as a drug overdose, but her family never believed it. It was only when her brother John dug up new leads on his own that the SQ reopened the case. Clearly they do not have the resources to, to be able to look at these things on a full-time basis. Allure and other victims' rights activists are asking Quebec to create a cold case task force. He says that way police can follow all leads, like an important witness that was overlooked in his sister's case. She came forward with because she heard about the case and, and phoned both the local police in Sherbrooke and the Sûreté de Quebec and say, said, I have this information, I need to share it, can you help me? And, and no one returned her call and no one followed up with her. With a third of homicides in Quebec currently unsolved, Pierre-Hugues Boivenu says it's essential to dedicate more resources to cold cases. To be sure that policemen will exchange information, will put together a new kind of technique to solve those kind of crime or crime and it will be we will be sure that the families will be well informed and until crimes are solved this criminologist fears the killers could claim other victims like in Teresa's case there is also a lot of uh, survivor victims and with the testimony and everything we think that it could be a serial killer a search to recover any possible evidence linked to Teresa's murder will be conducted by 70 volunteers tomorrow in a wooded area nearby. The SQ will not be present, but officials say they will investigate any new leads that materialize. For Global News near Magog, this is Vanessa Lee reporting.